All right. Uh, this is Beak Supreme again. That's me. Um, this is a demonstration for the Beak Robotics YouTube channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to write on a CRT screen, uh, which is an old TV, uh, a tube TV. Well, uh, it's it's solid state, but it uses a cathode ray tube for its display technology. I'm going to demonstrate how to write on the screen temporarily. Uh, for it takes me, it it lasts for maybe a minute or so, and. Um, to demonstrate how to do it with a ultraviolet LED. Now my ultraviolet LED is connected to a three uh, three volt power supply, um, <clears throat> and this LED is 380 nanometers, which is still in the long wave uh, region of um, of ultraviolet, because ultraviolet really begins around 405 or 400 nanometers, and it goes up to Ultraviolet is really broad. It goes on up to like, is it like either 10 nanometers or is it 3 nanometers? But it's, it's really, you know, and, and these scientists say that, you know, the human eye cannot see ultraviolet. Well, uh, imagine up in the upper realms of ultraviolet around 200 nanometers or even 100 nanometers, uh, nan you know, even 100 nanometers. I'm pretty sure you couldn't see that at all, but 400 nanometers you can see, and this light that I'm going to show you is 380 nanometers, and you can definitely see that. Uh, but the further into the ultraviolet spectrum you go with the, um, you know, with the shorter wavelength, you know, the lower number, um, the more of an effect it will give on fluorescent items or phosphorescent items or whatever, uh, now the longer the wavelength, around 405 nanometer, like Blu-ray, uh, it's more about being visible light, you know, the color purple, and there's not as much of a black light effect. But this 380, uh, this 380 nanometer LED that I'm about to show you has a pretty good effect, and yet you can still see it's still kind of purple. So I have the camera pointed directly at a cathode ray tube, uh, a CRT uh, television that uh, is made by Sanyo and it's manufactured in the year 2005. Uh, it's a flat tube, um, cathode ray tube, and I want to show you. Um, you probably can't see anything on the screen. It's very dark, but um, there's enough light in here I can see, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to power on this light, and I'm going to show you an effect. Now, if you've seen that quick blink of light, um, show you again. And I illuminated that little area on the TV. I'm not sure if you can really see that, but I'm going to write on the screen. Kind of try to draw the uh, letter B. I'll just put a big line diagonally down there. Now, you might be able to see that a little bit. Uh, maybe not. I'll try again. Needs a little bit of a trail. Here's my ultraviolet light. Just so you can see it. That's 380 nanometers. 380 nanometers. You can still see it's quite visible, a nice bright purple. But it gives a nice black light effect. And I'll shine on this TV again. And you might be able to see that. Yeah, there you go. It was a little bit of an afterglow, not very much. And I can barely see it, but it's lighting up that TV. Um, anyway, um, that's, uh, really that.
Uh, what else goes in here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, just so you know, that this does have a black light effect. Here's some socks. And shining the light on there. They glow that nice, pretty blue color. Well, I'm going to show you another something else. Here's some glow-in-the-dark spray paint from when I was painting uh, my SNES pie box. Can't really see it right here. Now you see it. Yep. Turn the and uh, here we go. Make it glow again. And here's my LED. You see and. Uh, Yep. These are the neat, fun kinds of things that I get to do at Beeklebotics. Uh, little neat projects and so on and so forth. Neat little ideas and concepts. And this stuff is much more reactive. Um, to the ultraviolet light than the TV screen. So I get to draw things on it. <clears throat> we have some more fluorescent stuff. Oh, this is cool. Um, oh crap, I stepped on something. In my kid's shirt. Uh, he's got a little tropical shirt that I uh, bought him. And it, uh, it's kind of an effect under the uh, UV light. Like, uh, here we go. This thing gets hot too because it's too much amp or whatever. But, uh, check this out. Okay, here's a shirt. And, uh, yeah, you can see the uh, yellow on it glows. And, uh, yep, 380 nanometer ultraviolet light. It's quite beakish, actually. You should go pet some. Alright, it's getting kind of late. It's a uh, quarter after one in the morning, so I'm going to have to conclude this video for now. I am Beak Supreme, and this is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. Enjoy.